Hi everyone, uh, Martin here again. Now this is a little tip for you people who use Windows Movie Maker, again one of the free tools I show you to use first of all, uh, if you're producing your own uh, how-to products or whatever. So the problem I've been posed is how can you actually put a clip or a picture in between uh, a video track that you may have run or created in Windows Movie Maker. Now, normally, Windows Movie Maker, you, you can put transitions, uh, special effects, and also titles and credits on your clips by clicking on the titles and credits uh, in, in the actual edit menu, as you can see down the side there. And that allows you to either put a title at the beginning on the actual clip where you can put uh, your name or, or the description of certain things, or at the end of the clip. So that's not a problem. But the problem lies when you're trying to import either other vi video or other pictures into the timeline because you're only given one video track. So I'm going to just show you how to get over that problem in Windows Movie Maker. This is the Vista version by the way for PC. So first of all I've got a little 10, 10 second all, uh, video here uh, of me. So I'm just going to drag that onto the timeline and just show you. Just hit play. When you're beginning manufacturing or creating your own products to sell for profit, my advice... So there you go, that's just a simple 10 second clip. Now I want to put a picture in here, uh, let's say four seconds in. And there's no, other, uh, there's no other tracks for me to be able to do this. So there's a certain thing you have to do. First of all, if that's when you drop, drag your uh, audio video track down to the timeline, and it only comes up and you can see down below there's nothing there for the audio. If you click that little plus button there, you can actually see the audio clip which is latched on to the video. That is, a, they're linked together basically. So what we're going to have to do basically, the first thing we're going to have to do is to go put your mouse over the audio clip and highlight it and then right click on it and then you want to press copy. And then go to the track below, the audio and music track and right click on that and then click paste now what I've basically done there I've just copied that audio track onto a whole new track and I've done that for a reason because we're going to be splitting this track if we split this track because this audio is linked to that track once we make our split the actual audio would split and all and the picture in the middle would just have a bit of blank space so what we've basically done, we've created a separate audio track exactly the same as the one above it, dropped it directly below it, and we are now going to mute this track, the actual audio that comes with the video, and then it doesn't matter whether we break, the talking will still continue. And Let me just show you what I mean here. So again, I'm going back to the top track, I'm going to right click on it, the audio track, and I'm going to press volume. I'm then going to click the mute button, and then click OK. Now you can see that the, the actual track there has just gone to a straight line, which means it's actually muted. But because I've duplicated the track below, if I press play, when you're beginning manufacturing or creating your own product, everything's as it was, but the actual track above is muted. Right, now what we can do, we can split this track where we want now, anywhere we want, and we can drop in an, an image or another piece of video or whatever. Uh, let's say, for example, we wanted to drop an image in at four seconds. Now you can see at the moment the clip has run for 6.72 seconds. So if I turn my, if I click on the track and then turn the thumb wheel on my mouse, if you have one, you can just drag the thumb wheel back on your mouse until you get back to the four seconds. So I'm nearly there now, 5.4, 4.8. Three, two, one, 4.4. Right, I'm back on four seconds. So don't forget, I've got this clip highlighted. I'm down at the four seconds, as you can see there, and I'm now going to click the split button. There we go, I've just clicked the split, and that's actually split that track. Now what I want to do is I want to drop my image in there. So I'm going to get a hold of my image, which is up here. It's just a JPEG of a dog. That's my daughter's dog, Monty. And I'm just going to drop it into that gap. It will go, a little blue line will appear, and then you can just drop it in there. Now, as you can see, up until that track, my voice is, is split. If I was using that audio, there would be a big black spot there. But because I've got the bottom track, which I duplicated, I've just basically, my voice will carry on talking. I'll just show you that. 
Hi everyone, Martin here again. When you're beginning manufacturing or creating your own products to sell for profit, my advice... Then after the track, because we've split it, obviously my voice on this part of the track is now out of sync. So, what we do now, we want to basically just drop that image in and I want to shorten that image. You can either split it or you can just drag, get hold of the end of the image where I am there and just drag it to whatever part you want, let's say, I don't know, about there would do for example. And that's brought this track back into line again. Now, I've got to now chop a bit off of the beginning of this track until the audio, more my voice, syncs up. So all I do, I go back onto this track again, right click on it, take the mute off, that brings it back up. Now, all I've got to do is marry this up with this one. And all I do is I hold the end of that clip, drag it to as short as you need it, a bit more. If you want to zoom in, don't forget, you know you can zoom into the, the timeline there to get this absolutely accurate. So I need to zoom in a little bit more and just drag it a little bit more. Can you see that line coming closer and closer to the bottom track? Get it so you're just about, just make it shorter a little bit at a time. And there you go. Now a little bit more maybe. There. That sounds all right to me. So let's just zoom out again. Like that. I'll be in a bit more. Now that clip again, you just mute that again if you want. So the audio, the top audio clip, right click on it. Uh, click the mute. Or you can click the volume, it doesn't really matter. Click the volume and then mute the clip. OK. Now what should happen? When I play this clip, I should have the image in the middle. My voice will carry on talking, and when I go back to my image, my lip sync should be linked, uh, the same as what it was on, on the original clip. When you're beginning manufacturing or creating your own products to sell for profit, my advice... And that is how you drop in an image into Windows Movie Maker in between an actual audio clip. There you go, hope that was of use to you. Thanks very much and I'll speak to you again soon.